We continue celebrating Black History Month here at WJTV, and with that also marks the continuing of our Hidden History Special. D. Griffin shows us how an artifact from the days of slavery helped influence art in the South. Now calm and serene, the Savannah River was once a bustling, active route for importing and exporting goods in the river region. But its proud past includes a perilous period that changed lives and later influenced a segment of art culture. The slave trade had been abolished in 1807 and really took effect in 1808. Um, but this is 50 years later, um, in December of 1858. Those slaves were brought to Georgia on a schooner called the Wanderer. Small boats were hired to take slaves up the Savannah River. About 200 were taken through the dark, murky water of Horseshoe Creek and into Edgefield County, South Carolina. There are newspaper accounts that talk about how intelligent they were, um, how quickly they learned when they came here and started working on the different plantations and whatever field they were, they were they were skilled laborers. Although ripped from their country with an uncertain future, the slaves would not let go of a piece of their past. While working for local pottery manufacturers, they created face jugs. They're very rudimentary, they're, they're very crude, they're very small, and it's believed that they practiced the voodoo religion, and so they believed that they could talk to ancestors through the face vessels. While no one can put a true price on the service of slaves, collectors are paying high dollar to get a piece of their work. They do fetch a large price, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, at auction, they can go from anywhere 12 to $25. For History, I'm Dee Griffin. And join us for Mississippi's Hidden History Celebrating Black History Month. Part two of our two-part special airs next Thursday at 6.30 on WJTV 12. It also airs on The CW.